David, what's your overall impressions of the game today? Yeah, I think the players deserve great credit to, to get down to the last half hour with 10 men. And I thought we were shape, our fitness levels, our organisation made it very difficult for Dundee. But yeah, I'm a bit disappointed because I thought it would have kept the 11 men. I thought the fitness levels would have pushed on. And I'm disappointed because I see it as a, an opportunity and, and two points dropped. Yeah, I mean, it, it was an early goal you lost, of course, but the way the boys come back, we've talked about this a few times, the way they commit themselves to the cause. Yeah, I just thought we, we started the game a wee bit slow. I think it was one one diagonal ball, he's getting behind us, and Kane Hemmings, the player of the cabinet is, and he one chance in the game, he's going to score it. And then I think that kind of gives a wee uh, shake-up when we started thinking, right, we need to go and try and score a goal. And I thought we did we scored a great goal, I think, with a contentious penalty, which I thought... Was, was was apparently all day. I don't know how Bobby hasn't seen it, the linesman hasn't seen it, but I say it's been great character, as I say. So it was, it was a game of both halves. I think we had to dig deep in the second half, but I thought the shape, organisation, I thought we were quite comfortable in the end. Yeah, because you were forced into that change, weren't you, with Kyle? It's not really typical of Kyle, that sort of thing, for it to happen to him. Yeah, I just think it's a coming together. I just think, I don't think it's a booking, a second booking, but obviously the game's on for another 30 seconds, and then he's brought it back, book Kyle, and then you're the most defensive midfield player. You're down, so I thought Chris Miller come on, done fantastic, he had a fantastic block when I thought Dundee were going to score, and uh, it just changes your, your mindset. But as I say, the players, we worked in that shape all week. We work on how we defend against it, and they say the players brought it off their tee because I don't think Danny had anything to do in the second half. Yeah, it's a bit like the Alamo at the end there, wasn't it really? But can I point out Sean McGinty? I thought he had a great game as he came on to it. Yeah, Sean was fantastic. As I say, it was a big decision to bring him in because also Brian McLean had played last week at Dundee United, and Brian was fantastic. But I just saw Sean with his left foot gives a wee bit of balance. His presence, he's an experienced player. And uh, him and him and Jack Baird, I thought, dealt with every ball that came in the box. And it says, the yeah, Alamo's a wee bit, the ball's in the box. Danny dealt with crosses, I thought they, they dealt with, with headers. But you're just having that wee bit of, uh, not so much luck, but you're hoping it doesn't fall to one of their players because we've blocked a few shots. And sometimes you take that wee deflection and get past the keeper. But absolutely delighted. And as I say, the fans again were fantastic for us. I think now they're staying and watching a team who's prepared to work really hard to make sure we get results here. Well, David, well done today, and thanks again for your time. Thanks very much, Jay. Thanks.